Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. I'm recording this video December 2023. I want to show you something that's changed on the QuickBooks Online homepage. When you look at my homepage, you see things are a little bit different. You might recall that the bank accounts were kind of over to the right, and across the top we had different menu items. What I want to focus on is just the homepage, and specifically this customized layout that appears in the upper right hand corner. When I select customize layout, I can see the different things that I have available to me, and I can also choose to add, subtract, and move them. So let's do this. Uh, let's say that I'm really used to having the bank in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to select it with my mouse and move it. This shortcut, this is nice, but it could be smaller. So I'm just going to shrink it down. Uh, let's say that I want the sales to be next to things. The tasks over here, I don't use QuickBooks as my task manager. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So now I've got my shortcuts, my profit and loss, my sales, my bank accounts, so on and so forth. I, I don't believe that QuickBooks is going to be my resource for my taxable profit, so I'm, I'm going to delete that. I like that it tells me the apps I have connected. This is nice. Um, we'll just take a look at the things that I can add on to it. I can add on automatic invoice reminders. That seems cool. Um, I can add on QuickBooks payments. Well, if I've already signed up for QuickBooks payments, I don't need it up here at the top. And then this help and support center, um, that's a swell idea. Um, if it was super great, I wouldn't have a whole business devoted to help and support. So I'm probably not going to add any of those things. So now when I look at what I've got, I have my shortcuts, I have my profit and loss, I have my sales, I have my banks, my expenses, my invoices feels kind of silly to have like such a big gap on the bottom. I don't know what else I would put down here, but let's stretch the expenses. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the little bubble on the left. I'm going to stretch it to the right. You can see my mouse going to the left, but the, um, the stretch happens over to the right. I don't know why it's like that, but I'm just going to take it and drag it to the middle. So now I can see what's going on. One thing I want to point out is that I don't have the ability to add the graphs that I would want or to customize these graphs in a way that I would find to be more helpful. So in real life, I'm not going to use my homepage kind of dashboardy thing, but I did want you to see what it's all about and how to use it. When you're satisfied, you'll click on save in the upper right hand corner. I hope this video has been helpful. Please don't hesitate to leave me a message below if there are videos you'd like to see me create. If you need any help with QuickBooks, I provide one-on-one -on -one training as well as self-paced courses. If you need to outsource your bookkeeping, my team and I are ready and able to help you. Thank you so much and have a great day.